he is risen. The human dipole magnet and how the resurrection on Easter did occur. The meaning of Easter. Easter is the celebration of the resurrection of Jesus Christ between March 21st and April 25th. The first Sunday after the first full moon following the Northern Spring Equinox. It honors the life and death of Jesus, the son of Mary and Joseph, born in a manger in Bethlehem after escaping persecution in Judea. His birth was heralded by a star that guided three magi to see the king, baby Jesus. For the most part, things get hazy and mysterious soon after, until Jesus reemerges at 33 years old, teaching the golden rule of repaying evil with love and kindness, performing miracles like raising Lazarus from the dead, feeding 5,000 followers by multiplying just a few loaves and fish, turning water to wine, and perhaps what he is best known for, walking on water. For these miracles, he was persecuted, crucified, died, and was resurrected three days later. What if I told you that was all true? but not the whole truth. That the whole truth is more incredible than you think. That other non-biblical texts state that he could even fly in the air as easily as people walked on land. That he was a bona fide master in Greek, Egyptian, Hebrew, and Hindu teachings on mathematics, cosmogony, geometry, cellular biology, and physical anatomy. A true Einstein of his time, as much as a spiritual healer and teacher. The truth behind the man named Jesus, because consider the letter J didn't come into existence until the 16th century so while the name we give him may change, the fact the man and his teachings changed the world does not. And prior to the 1520s, it was Jesus, and prior to being called Christians, his early followers were originally called Jesaeans. Today, in 2023, we call him Jesus and his followers Christians. But prior to the 16th century, the name was Jesus, a name that spanned Greek, Hebrew, Aramaic, and Egyptian cultures. In Greek, it was pronounced Jesus. And there was even a prayer to worship the Jesus, called the Jesus Credo, which went like this. And if you are, or were Catholic, should remind you of the later Nicene Creed. I believe in Zeus, the Father Almighty, and in his Son, Jesus Christos, our Lord, who was conceived of the Holy Ghost born of the virgin Electra, smitten with a thunderbolt, dead and buried, he descended into hell, rose again, and ascended up on high, and will return to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the holy noose, in the holy circle of great gods, in the community of divinities, in the expiation of sins, 
the immortality of the soul and the life everlasting. Obviously, when the Nicene Council in 325 came together to institutionalize the authentic teachings of the Jesus Christos, it borrowed almost word for word from this Jesus Credo for its new Nicene Creed. It also lacks the incredible knowledge of electricity because our physical reality is conveyed and transmitted by electromagnetism. And the human body itself is a dipole magnet in a torsion field of swirling vibrational energies. And Jesus Christos is of Greek and Hindu origins. While Jesus is Greek, Christos comes from the same Sanskrit word Chris, as in Krishna, meaning the sacred, blood, essence, and even emanation or avatar of God. Thus, Jesus Christ in its most literal and ancient honoring translation becomes Hail Jupiter Sacred Anointment. While Zeus as the planet Jupiter is obvious, less obvious is that Christos or Krishna is the moon. Together, Jupiter and the moon represent the dipolarity of the magnetic human body. With the positive Jupiter North Pole in the head being counterbalanced by the negative moon South Pole in the center of the human body, located in the coccyx of the spine. The spine is the central energy channel that unites and harmonizes these dipoles. The energy currents that run up and down from the north and south poles alternate right and left. Thus, not only is the energy of the dipolarities balanced up and down, but also right and left, creating an alternating wave current similar to the double helix in our DNA. Our original code sequence is accessible throughout our lives and is contained in the southern negative charged moon pole. The spaces that open within the dipole alternating currents creates vortexes of swirling vibrational spins along the spine. As these swirling vortexes open up and the energy channels open between the North Pole and Lunar Southern Pole, changes among the polar molecules within the spine rise from the filum terminale, the ending filament of the spinal cord in the brain. Most of the neurons in the brain, as well as our motor and movement neurons, are considered polar or even multipolar, which means they are shaped in such a way as to allow for the integration of a lot of information from other neurons. In essence, even the spinal column is a series of gap junction linked cells whose gap junctions open and molecular polarities change and are directly affected in the swirling vortexes of vibrational energy that result from the up, down, and right, left alternating positive and negative charge currents called chakras. In the next Occult Secrets Revealed, we will cover the stages of the Kundalini climb from the purification, the activation, the rising, and the integration. As we explore these stages, I encourage you to envision yourself as already arrived at the end, dwelling in the light, living in the light because you already are in it, even if you didn't know it. 
and if you believe in the biblical Jesus Christ and resurrection, this should only add to your belief, because scientifically, this provides the evidence it could happen to you as it did for Jehoshua. So how does it feel to know the truth? And now that you know the truth, what are you going to do with it for yourself and the world you desire for yourself? Be sure to drop it in the comments and add to the thriving conversation. I read each one and sometimes add my own two cents or a paragraph to it. Because it's your evolution that becomes mine. And I can't do this without you. So be sure to subscribe to join the growing community of learned initiates and truth seekers to one day truly make the world a better place. And if you would like to support me in keeping this channel thriving, consider becoming a member with perks like early access to podcasts of audios that will turn into the video format. And with your support, a monthly astronomical message on the sun the moon, the planets, and which days for you to focus on for the continued energization of your seat of life from the Holy Grail to the Silver Bullet. And over the course of the next seven months, tracking the new moons from this April 20th until November, members of this channel get seven new moon chakra meditations aimed at activating each chakra for just a combined total of $34. An offer, others sell for hundreds. So be sure to join, buy your mala, and begin your kundalini journey with a dynamic and growing community. Be sure to also visit the Occult Secrets Revealed shop and pick up a handmade Amrita mala made by yours truly with butterscotch resin beads from Tibet and high quality crystal gemstones meant to help you connect your mind with your breath, with the earth below and the moon above, available while the very limited supply lasts. As legend has it, Cetus was a whale monster sent by Poseidon to kill Cassiopeia. Perseus slayed the giant sea monster and Cetus' body fell in the ancient spiritual kingdom of Shambhala in modern-day Tibet, China. From Cetus' eternal body emanates a waxy substance rich in oils called Amrita, the nectar of immortality and kundalini purification. These Amrita beads purify the entire kundalini chakra ladder allowing one's true willpower in the base of the spine to get activated and begin ascending upwards. Any help goes a long way for this one-man production. And until next time, trust and believe that it is okay to be you, the most beautiful you there ever was, there is, and that there ever will be, because you are not a story that can be told twice. And there will never again be a stage for you to perform, but this one, right here, right now, so be you, the most beautiful you.